Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and we are going to be doing the 72 hours in a smut den. And this was hosted by Cassie from Covers with Cassidy along with Mel from Eleanor Reads and Rye from Rye's Reading Corner. And I think the two guest hosts are going to be uh, Michelle from Michelle's Library and Brie from Four Pauls in a Book. So I will try to remember to leave their links down below. Um, if I don't, uh, please go check them out either way. So essentially what the 72 hours on Smut Done is, is that for 72 hours from 7 p.m. on the 25th of May to 7 p.m. on May 28th, we're going to be reading nothing but Smut. And there's a dark wheel and a light wheel. Now I'm going to be focusing more so on the dark romance, so I'm not going to even touch the light wheel. So I decided instead of doing using the wheels that I would use my envelopes. Um, they have nothing on them, so there's no way I can tell what any of these are. And essentially my plan for this is to just randomly draw them. I'll shuffle them. I have no idea which one's which, and I'm just really excited for this. These are obviously the same type of envelopes that I used for my TBR for this month in May. So I'm really excited to use them for this readathon. This So I've majorly been wanting to read romance recently, so this could not have come at a more perfect time. I have figured out tons of dark romances that I want to read. Um, if you'd like to see any information on those, if you go to my Goodreads link down below, click on it, go and find my little, uh, what are they called? Bookshelves or the little things that you can make. Um, there's one called 72 Hours in the Smut Den, and it will have all the options that I have to be read for this. Some of them I have already read, but I could reread. So again, go ahead and check that out. So it's currently about 3.30 here, and it doesn't start till 7, I'm assuming whatever time zone you're in. I'm in EST, so 7 p.m. is in like three and a half hours, so I'm really excited. But I do want to pick my first prompt so that I can be ready and just start as soon as 7 p.m. comes around. I'm a little nervous. There are a couple I don't want. Like, I don't really care for discreet cover or um, the creatures on the cover. Uh, I think that's all of them. I would prefer black or white cover, hands on the cover, or um, red font, or the, even the shirtless man on the cover. Like, any of those. Just not not discreet or creatures on the cover because I may actually pick something else. I might use one of my spins. I have a specific book in mind that I would love to start with but we'll see. I mean it could count for I think red font, shirtless man, and black cover so fingers crossed. So I'm going to shuffle these and then we'll pick the first prompt and Hopefully I don't have to use any of my three respins, but I'll just call them repicks, I guess. <laughs> because we are allowed three repicks if we land on one that we really don't want to do at the moment. So I'm not going to use them sparingly because the amount of time we have to read and the amount of time uh, it takes to read certain books, because some of these books are pretty chunky because they are Kindle Unlimited and Kindle Unlimited uh, authors are paid by the page flip I think so some of the books are really really chunky so I'm just going to use my uh, extra picks and hope for the best and yeah so I'm gonna shuffle these okay again there's nothing on them but the tape there's nothing on the fronts so I'm gonna fan them out and I'm really nervous. Okay, so I feel like this one. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Hand on the cover. Okay, so I'm not mad about this one. But I don't know if that book I was telling you about has hands on the cover. I can't remember. I don't know if the hands are showing. So... On the backs of each of these, I have some options. Not all of the books on my radar for this. I don't know if it'll... Okay. So, not all of the picks uh, that are on my radar for this readathon are on each thing that they could go under. Um, I just wanted to have a little thing just in case I needed a reminder of what I have. So, 
I really want to read the, what is it, The Devil and I? Ooh. I can't remember, though, if it has hands on the cover. Ooh. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. If this cover has hands on the cover, that is going to be the one I'm going to start the readathon with. Um, all I know about this one is that it is, I think, like a cop, and he goes and he kills people that deserve it. And he ends up stumbling upon this girl, and he saves her, and then he kind of keeps her for himself and takes care of her. And I, I don't know what all the trigger warnings are. So keep in mind that all these books have trigger warnings. Like, they are all dark, and they all have trigger warnings. So just keep that in mind. I don't mind usually. So, uh, yeah. So if that one doesn't have hands on the cover... I don't know what I'll read. Um, maybe give me a reason. I know it's like people on the cover, but you can see their hands, so I'm counting it. Um, Taken by a Sinner would be interesting. Maybe Painted Scars. Um, or Make Me. Brutal Intentions. I have Mafia Mistress. The Ritual. My Dark Romeo. Um, Satan's Affair, which I should read that one because I want to get to... Um, Haunting Adeline again. I already read Haunting Adeline earlier this month, but I never continued on because I got the audiobooks for the first and the second one. But I know that you should probably read this one before going into those, so I kind of have an idea about who Satan's Affair is for, but I really wish that I had read it beforehand. You know what I mean? Um, still beating. Not sure if I'm in the mood for that one. Um... Yeah, so I have some options. I have options, but I really want to read The Devil and I. So I guess when it turns 7 p.m., I will let you guys know what I have chosen. And hopefully it's the one that I want. But if not, it will be one of these ones. Yeah, so I will be seeing you guys at 7 when it's time to start the readathon and what I will be reading first. So again, first one is Hand on the Cover. And yeah, I am really excited to start this. So. See you guys at seven. Okay, so I just looked at the cover of The Devil and I, and it does in fact have hands. I'll put it here. I am really excited for this one. Um, I will let you guys know more about what it's about when I get started reading it at seven. Uh, I kind of want to start it now, but like, I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know quickly that that one is the one I'm going to be reading. It does have hands on the cover. Okay, so it's about 8.30 and I did not finish my book. Um, I started it. I got like 20 something percent of the way in and I am DNFing it. Uh, I don't have time for books that I'm not enjoying. This one just feels so unrealistic in a way that is just not enjoyable. So I started The Devil and I by Kay Allister. So I'm going to try and talk about this book without like getting in trouble for saying certain words. So we find out... So we're following Reyna and Lucas, and Reyna is the first chapter we get, and she is really upset, she's really uh, depressed, and she plans to unalive herself, and all because she was assaulted sexually, and the person has left a note under her door uh, saying that he was going to come back for her. And so she's just done. She doesn't have the will to live. She's afraid for her life constantly. She feels horrible and no one believes her about what happened. And so she takes matters into her own hands. She uh, goes into the woods and she proceeds to try and unalive herself. But along comes Lucas, who is a cop who is just getting ready to take a two-week vacation but you find out that he kind of, kind of unalives men who have done bad things. And he finds her and he decides instead of taking her to the hospital, he's going to take her home and keep her and take care of her and try to avenge what was done to her from this guy. So immediately after they get home, let's not, first let's talk about how the fact that he gave her a psychiatric emotion stabilizer pill or whatever while she was unconscious in the police car which okay I kind of can understand that but then he proceeds to 
clean her up when they get to his house. He's explaining to her why he brought her there and he thought, you know, it would he just wanted to get her somewhere safe. Yada yada yada. And then he decides that she's cold and she needs to get warm, so he decides to run her a bath, but but because she tried to mm, herself, uh he decides she can't be alone and he decides to take a bath with her. Now they're both wearing underwear. He has his boxer, she has her bra and underwear on. And immediately after he helps her bathe and stuff, uh, she kind of begins to get hot for him, I guess, for want of better words. And I just, mm, I understand he's like a morally gray character, but like the fact that this is immediately happening, and I have a feeling that this is a short book. I really can't tell because it doesn't really say anywhere how long it is. I think I want to say that it feels like maybe a hundred pages or so, or right around there. So. I don't know, but I am just, I can't, I'm not even focusing on it, like, I have no will to want to read it. So, I am going to be moving on from that. So, uh, unfortunately it is what it is. I knew with some of these books I was going to go in, uh, potentially not liking them in the end. Uh, I was really excited for this one, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't having a good time and I wasn't staying focused, so... Here we are. We're going to pick a, another one. Hopefully this one goes better than the last one. And we'll just move on and go from there. And let's see. I'm gonna spread them out. I'm just gonna go with this one because it's sticking out the most. Okay, and it is <laughs> hand on the cover. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently these want me to read something with hands on the cover okay wow hmm i just i don't have any words like seriously this is the second time if i get it a third time though i'm allowed to skip it without using one of my skips so i have plenty of things i even filled in the devil and i so that i can check mark that that was tried <laughs> but now i gotta figure out what i want to read next I hate starting books because sometimes it takes me a while to get into them. So like the fact that I have to start another book is just, mm, I'm not happy about it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to read. I guess I'll look more at these books again and figure it out. But yeah, hopefully this next pick is a lot better than the first one went. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock and I've finished my first book for 72 Hours in the Smut Den, and that was Beautiful and Dirty by Katrina Jackson, I believe. It was the prequel novella to the series. And we're following Shay, who is on a vacation with her boyfriend, and they arrive in Rome, and she just realizes from the moment they get there that things are just going downhill with her boyfriend, and she's wondering why she never saw it before, and she's kind of just having the worst time and she realizes that she's pretty much a pushover and a people pleaser and she just is so frustrated with herself. So when they plan to go to Naples to enjoy the day, have some wine and pizza, he kind of, he forgets his passport and she tells him to go get it and he doesn't come back on time and so she gets and goes without him on the train. And she ends up showing up at a pizza place and that is where we meet Salvatore who is our other main character that we follow and he is a mafia boss, um, assuming an Italian one, I think, yeah, anyway, and he, and he's kind of just no emotions, like, he just doesn't care about things, and he's just so tired of it, and he goes and puts in an appearance at, um, this restaurant that he owns or works at or whatever, uh, and he's thinking about how he recently was, um, almost killed, and he's been trying to figure out who tried to assassinate him or whatever. And so at the restaurant, he ends up seeing Shay walk in. She's trying to figure out wine to drink and wanting to just have some pizza. And immediately they both catch each other's eye. And it's just the chemistry builds up from there. And I think that even though this does have uh, cheating aspects in it, this was just done in a way that I felt like it was really well done. And... I feel like the chemistry between these two characters was good and I like that it didn't go in a direction like normally these would at the end. So I really enjoyed this. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, there wasn't too much spice in it because there was only the one scene where 
you know, they had their quick entanglement and then they were off, but it was pretty interesting and I'm interested to see more uh, about where their story goes. So I know that we will read from this couple again on book five, so I know it's a while away. Um, I would like to continue. Um, I'm just not sure like I want to do it immediately, so I definitely really enjoyed this one, so I'm super happy about it. But that means it's time to pick another one. And this will be my last pick for the night on Thursday night because I am tired and I just want to go to bed and be able to read tons more tomorrow. So I'd like to pick and have tonight to decide on what I will be reading. And if I get hands on the cover one more time, I can skip it and pick again because I, I just, part of me really wants to get a white cover. That's what I really want. So let's hope that that's the one I get. You know what? We're just going to go with this one. Open it. Ugh. Flowers on the cover. Ooh. I really... Oof. I really don't want this one. So... I think... I mean, there's books on here that I really want to read. But I don't think... I think I'm going to use my first skip. And so we have these. So I'm just going to go with this one. Cause, or maybe this one. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe this one. I'll just go with this one. Wild. Yes. I love this. So I can read whatever I want. I do have some books like the other ones on the back. There is one that doesn't fit anything else that I could read. And it's called As If I Wouldn't Fall. And this one's really short. I think it's only like 80 something pages. So I could potentially pick this one. But I really want to read The Predator by Runix. Ooh, I don't know. I think it might be easier if I do as if I wouldn't fall because it's a quicker read and I can get to other things. So I think, I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know in the morning. It's either going to be as if I wouldn't fall or The Predator by Runix. So we shall see. Okay, so it's a little after one on Friday, May 26th. I just finished my book for a while, which I decided to go with As If I Wouldn't Fall by Jessica Kane. Absolutely loved it. Five out of five stars. Um, <laughs> we're following Ayla and Flint, and Flint has had feelings for Ayla since freshman year in high school, and he's never said anything to her. He's just kind of followed her around, and they have the same classes and everything, and one day Ayla... Uh, backs into a pole or whatever and uh, messes up her car that she got for her 16th birthday that was her mother's and her mother has passed away and so she goes to where Flint works at this mechanic shop and she pretty much begs him to fix it and things start heating up from there and this is such a quick read it's only like 80 something pages and it does have some pregnancy in it but you go into that really knowing and it's not a surprise baby or anything um but other than that, it was really good. It was pretty spicy and I absolutely loved it. So it is time to pick another one. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for today. I guess we'll just see what I get. Um, whoops. Uh, I still don't really care for like monster on the cover or discreet cover. I mean, I guess some fantasy romance you could have discreet cover for. So I guess I could do that. But um, there are just some that I'm just like not in the mood for. But I kind of think maybe, depending on what I get, I might be in the mood for fantasy romance. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to spread these all out. And we're just going to go with, how about this one? Red font. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want to pick for this. I could pick, um, here's this list I have of ones that potentially have red font. Um, ew, this is hard. Maybe I'll read City of Gods and Monsters. This one is a really long book. I think it's like 700 pages though. So I'm not mad about it though because I enjoy longer fantasy romance books if they're done right. So I might try to do that, or I might try and see if the second book to What Lies Beyond the Veil has read in the font. So we'll see. But 
probably one of those two most likely unless I change my mind otherwise I will let you guys know so red font um and we're just gonna go for it so I am just ready to keep reading some more smutty scenes and some romance so see you in the next check-in okay so it is Saturday May 27th and I did not finish another book last night but I did get uh 81 percent into Nero by S.J. Tilly and I'm really enjoying this um it wasn't what I was expecting um I just was starting to feel a little burnt out on some dark romance so this one is pleasantly surprising and we're following Peyton who is just hanging out in her apartment one night uh when the other main character Nero jumps into her apartment and is just standing there and she's kind of like what what the heck is this guy doing here uh she's up on the second floor so like this shouldn't be possible and the first thing that he says is you shouldn't leave your doors open at night or whatever something like that and it just kind of goes from there and slowly they kind of build up this relationship and he's not a good guy he's part of the mafia and she's kind of just always down her luck like she's got such horrible circumstances uh and she does not have the best of luck either so i am really enjoying this book i don't really know what else to say other than that i am hoping to hopefully finish it sometime today i've just been doing other things and uh, the kids had to get ready they went to the pool with my mom so uh, this is the first chance i've had alone to film so that's what we're doing here i just filmed my june tbr i'm not sure how happy i am with the actual like video of it but it is what it is but i just wanted to jump on here and give you guys an update i decided to have a different background because it was just getting old just sitting by the bookshelves so so I'm so sorry that this video is not as exciting as some of the others, but literally I'm just reading smut books, letting you know what they're about, my feelings on them, and just picking the next prompt or whatever. Like, I'm just not very good at vlogging, so I apologize, but I am just really excited that I am having a good time. This 72-hour uh, thing, the last thing was 72 hours in the haunted house, and I just had like a horrible time. I was not reading very many good books, but this time my first book was a dnf then i had a four star then a five star and i feel like this one's going to be leaning more towards a five star so i'm just pleasantly surprised and i just can't wait to keep going and see how many more books i can knock out for this readathon so i guess i will see you guys later okay so it is like 7 45 i think and i have just finished my previous book uh nero by sj tilly really enjoyed it give it five out of five stars i forgot to mention earlier but it does have like a curvy main character so i like that representation and it wasn't like the forefront of everything but you know there were like little mentions of it here and there but i really enjoyed this i think this would make a great starter for just getting into mafia romance so i would definitely check this out i definitely recommend this one but that means that it is now time to pick one of these uh, I should have done this way earlier, but I've just been doing so many other things today that uh, reading the last 19% of my book was not one of them at the forefront. So I did finish that though, so at least that's done. I'm hoping I can get at least one more book in. Not sure if I'm what I'm in the mood for. Like, honestly, I could maybe try fantasy romance, but I kind of wish I had an audiobook. Uh, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what we get. So, um, Nero was for red font in the cover, so hopefully I get something different, and I still have two passes that I can use, so depending on what we get. So, here we go. Uh, oh, I don't know. You know what? Let's just, let's, let's go with this one. I hope this one's a good one. Uh, flowers on the cover. Ooh. So... These are the options that I have. Um, Haunting Adeline, A Dawn of Onyx, Court of Ravens and Ruin, Curse of Shadows and Thorns, A Fate of Wrath and Flame, and Find Me, which is a reread. Oh, do I want this one though? That's the question. Haunting Adeline, I do have a audiobook for, but I've read it this month already, and I don't know if I'm in the mood to reread it yet. Ooh, this is hard. I think I'm going to use one of my thing, my skips. I already used it once on this prompt. So, I mean, none of those books sound bad by any means, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for them. I just don't know. So, I'm going to 
pick another one. And if this next one's worse than that one, then I'll just pick something with flowers on the cover because I do have plenty of books. I have more than that on there. So, <sighs> all right, let's go again. And this will probably be the last book I read for this readathon. So, ooh, which one? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, maybe this one, I guess. Ooh, don't be a bad one. One word title. I have uh, Hitman, Untainted, uh, Requiem, Unhinged, Corrupt, Knotted, Crow, Faded, and Nero I've already read. Am I, in, I, don't, I don't really want any of these either. Do I go ahead and use my last one and hope that I get something that I want? Something? <laughs> I think we're going to do it. If not, I'm going to play Russian Roulette and keep going until I get something since it's the last book. Um, I kind of want black cover, really, because that one has like unlimited things. Oh my gosh, it's black cover. <laughs> okay, so... I have these as options, but like I said before, uh, there are many things that I could really choose from because there are tons of books with black covers, so also, excuse my makeup, I took it off, but it's like clinging to my face. <laughs> um, ooh. So, Even If It Hurts, Mafia Mistress, The Ritual, My Dark Romeo, Merciless Saints, Little Dove, Still Beating, Painted Scars, Fate of Wrath and Flame, Brutal Intentions. I'm kind of leaning toward either Little Dove or Merciless Saints. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, so I have no more skips, and this is probably going to be my last book for this readathon. So, black cover. And I am finally excited again, because <laughs> I did not want one word title or flowers on the cover, even though I have options for them and they all sound good, but I just, mm, black cover was speaking more to me. So I'm super excited that I got black cover. The chances are, were like slim, but I got it and I'm so excited. So black cover, I'll be back some point to let you guys know what I choose to read. Change of plans. I am deciding to read Taken by Sinner by Michelle Hurd. That is what I'm gonna use for book with a black cover. And that will be the last book I'm reading for this readathon because it's 400 pages and uh, I think I will probably be able to finish it by tomorrow night. But yeah, so that's my last book I'm reading. It is, I think, Greek Mafia? I could be wrong, but I think it's Greek Mafia and I don't think I've read a Greek Mafia before. So I'm really excited to read this and I've heard really good things. And the aesthetic for this book on TikTok is real. Okay, so... <laughs> So it is the last day of 72 Hours in the Smut Den. I did finish Taken by a Sinner. Absolutely loved it. Five out of five stars. Probably my favorite book from this weekend's reading. Um, followed closely by Nero by S.J. Tilly. I really enjoyed these books. I find that I really enjoy mafia romances. So I have quite a few of those on my radar that I'm going to keep my eye on. But anyway, let me tell you about <laughs> Taken by a Sinner. Um... So we are following two POVs. We're following Teresa, who her mother has just been engaged and is about to get married to the last head of the mafia uh, for the Greeks. And she goes to a dinner to kind of meet everyone and see everyone and kind of just touch base. And that's when she meets Nicholas, who is our love interest and other POV. And they immediately are like enemies enemies. They absolutely hate each other. She doesn't want anything to do with him. He doesn't want anything to really do with her, but he knows he's going to be stuck with her. But she's kind of like in denial because she's like, okay, I just got to get through this, get past the wedding. Then I don't have to deal with these people ever again. I don't want anything to do with the mafia. I just want to work on my production or producing degree or whatever. And it just kind of goes from there. And it is so entertaining to see them banter and it's so much fun watching Teresa kind of grow a backbone essentially and I just really enjoyed this so much so that when I finished uh Taken by a Sinner I got the second book which is I think Owned by a Sinner and I haven't started it yet but I'm really excited to um I just really want to keep going with the series I really enjoyed this book and I highly recommend it so I'm going to put up a graphic and it's going to show you all the books I read for this readathon and what my star ratings are for them So 
so I had such a great successful weekend. I found some new favorites and I had one DNF, but that's okay. This was really fun. I enjoyed using my little envelopes with the prompts in it and all that stuff. And I loved that I had so many options for each pick. And I just, I don't know, I just really enjoyed this readathon and it was so much fun. And even though I didn't get any B-roll, I just really like trying to participate in these things. So um, a big thank you to all the hosts. I will try to remember to leave them linked down below. But I had a lot of fun doing this readathon and I can't wait to do another one. And I guess that was everything. So if you like this video, give it a like down below, comment letting me know if you participated in this or not. And uh, if you like smutty romances and subscribe if you want to, I'd greatly appreciate it. Until my next video, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.